We're going to our lecture, the city of Sault Ste. Marie. And here we are again in another community in Ontario, very close to the lakes area. Sault Ste. Marie is a very popular attraction for tourists, but also a nice community to live in. And now we're going to check the information about the community to see if you as an immigrant want to take Sault Ste. Marie as one of your choices. Let's see. So here we are at the profile of the community of Sault Ste. Marie provided by Townfolio. Uh, as we can see here, the population of the community rise to 73,368 inhabitants. When it comes to household income, Sault Ste. Marie has an average of 60 to 75,000, the majority of the population household. And is based on this information, we can see that it have a very good middle class in the community. The key metrics that we can check are the following. The median household income, 61,000. The number of Aboriginal living in the community are around 8,025 people. Majority of the population is female and the age cohort is around 55 and 59. Basically, a lot of elderly population. And the number of visible minority is only 1,880, which is a median average age for the whole population in the city of 47. So a little older than other communities that we've seen before, which explains why it's important for Salt St. Marie to attract immigrants. Let's continue with the information. When it comes to the labor force, in labor force terms, we can see that the major industries are retail, manufacturing, some construction, and healthcare. And healthcare being one of the more predominant in the city. The occupation, the majority are in sales and services, followed by trade and transport, business and finances, education, law and government, and health. And if we see the key metrics, we see that the total labor force is around 34,330 people with a participation rate of 57.4%. The unemployment rate is a little higher, 10.3, with an employment rate of 51.5. Uh, we need to check the unemployment rate, uh, if how many retirees uh, are affecting those numbers. Also, we can check that the largest industry by far is healthcare and the largest occupation is sales and services. We have some opportunities anyway in small industry, like management and natural resources. When it comes to the income tax, not very different from the other communities in Ontario. And when it comes to the key metrics, we can see that the provincial general corporate tax is 11.5, the provincial small business corporate tax is 3.5, and we have also other incentive when it comes to Federal Small Business Corporate, 9, Investment Corporate Tax, 15, etc. Talking about temperatures and weather, we see that the coldest temperature they register in the community is minus 32.6%. And we can see that it continues to be a cold winter, but with hot summers, the average uh, snowfall is around for January 120, for February 114 centimeters of snow, and December was 99. So basically, the whole winter they experience a snowfall. And in the key metrics, the highest temperature in summertime would be 31. The lowest in winter would be 33, minus 33. And the most unpredictable month when it comes to weather-wise is January. And also is the one with the most snowfall of the whole year. When it comes to ownership, the majority of the houses in the community are have an owner and the, the difference is just renter. So you have a lot of homeowners in the community and the majority of those houses are going to be the three bedroom range. So there's 10,225 renters in the community and 22,410 homeowners. And the average rent in that community is 849 per month. 
when, when it comes to housing prices, it's around $235,086 on average for houses. So interesting numbers. The majority of people in Salt and Marie own a vehicle as the main way of transportation with some op options for public transportation and vehicle passengers on walk, okay? The busiest time on the road is between 8 a.m. and 8.59 a.m. When it comes to education, we can see that the majority of people are in the high school level, no certificate, and university. The most popular field are engineering. Basically, the dominant level of education is high school in the community. When it comes to business industries, we can see here that real estate have a big chunk of the industries, followed by wholesale, healthcare, and other services. The bigger, uh, the, the small business between one and four people are the most popular business size in the community. And if we see here the key metrics, real estate is the largest industry by business count. And the least popular business size is between 500 and 999. So large corporations, like large companies are not very frequently. Most are small businesses. Manufacturing business is a big component with 83 businesses in manufacturing and 527 businesses dedicated to the healthcare. Real estate, 976. There's no mining operations in Sault Ste. Marie. And now let's take a look at their website. So we are in the website, Sault Ste. Marie, with information about other services that they provide and also with some indications that they have the social media channels that you can check and subscribe Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn and subscribe to information of the city. Important to notice that you also have educational choices in this community, including Seoul College with programs and admissions and student life. And if we can continue here, checking they have a choice for international students that you can explore and learn about the choices for international students, how to apply, and they have an email and a phone number. And you can explore all the information. They have brochures for you and different choices, different links in the website. Also, you can check another institution, Algoma University, which also offers some choices for students in a big a nice university when it comes to academics and choices. If we check here, we can explore a little bit the student area. You have all the choices. They have international students, the admission requirements, the overview, the checklist, and then they give you all the information about scholar, even international scholarships. So if we check that information here, you can explore the choices for international students if you're planning to study in a community, Sarson Marie, and here are the choices. They have information, depending on where you're from, they have uh, different information in different languages. Okay, so if you're doing in China, you have information for Chinese students here. All right, so you also, if you work in the healthcare industry, have choices here with Salt Med Home, you have a job opportunities, the recruitment process. Remember that med, uh, healthcare have a special requirements, but at least you can get the information if you are in the field of healthcare, like a doctor, nurse, or any type of health support. Okay. And also, let's take a look at LinkedIn page here. You can have the LinkedIn, you can follow the city, and you can check in the people, all the people that are living in this city and also are connected through LinkedIn. And you can, again, as we, did, as we said before, you can introduce yourself to anybody who have a similar background when it comes to education or profession. And they can probably start giving some hints and tips on how to uh, land a job there in the city. They are also have presence in Twitter. You can follow that and reply and ask some questions and also in Facebook, they have their page where you can find the post, the events, the photos, and the videos, and a link to YouTube where you can check also the YouTube choices that they have, right? 
So I hope you enjoyed this lecture and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.